Destruction of the Bastille by Samuel Taylor Coleridge Read by Frank Blissett Heardst thou yon universal cry, And dost thou linger still on Gallia's shore? Go, tyranny, beneath some barbarous sky Thy terrors lost and ruined power deplore. What though through many a groaning age Was felt thy keen suspicious rage, Yet freedom roused by fierce disdain Has wildly broken thy triple chain, And like the storm which earth's deep entrails hide, At length has burst its way and spread the ruins wide. In sighs their sickly breath was spent, each gleam of hope had ceased the long, long day to cheer, or if delusive in some flitting dream, it gave them to their friends and children dear. Awaked by lordly insults sound to all the doubled horrors round, oft shrunk they from oppression's band while anguish raised the desperate hand for silent death or lost the mind's control, through every burning vein would tides of frenzy roll. But cease, ye pitying bosoms, cease to bleed, such scenes no more demand the tear humane. I see, I see, glad liberty succeed with every patriot virtue in her train, and mark yon peasant's raptured eyes. Secure he views his harvests rise. No fetter vile the mind shall know, and eloquence shall fearless glow. Yes, Liberty, the soul of life, shall reign, shall throb in every pulse, shall flow through every vein. Shall France alone a despot spurn? Shall she alone, O freedom, boast thy care? Lo, round thy standard Belgia's heroes burn. Though power's blood-stained streamers fire the air, And wider yet thy influence spread, Nor e'er recline thy weary head, Till every land from pole to pole Shall boast one independent soul. And still, as erst, let favoured Britain be First ever of the first and freest of the free. That was Destruction of the Bastille by Samuel Taylor Coleridge, read by Frank Blissett.